we start now by checking in with Jacob Noterman. He's live at the Capitol in Bismarck. Now, Jacob, Governor Burgum was supposed to have a news conference today, but he canceled just a bit ago. I'm, what do you know about that? Well, as we expected, we were supposed to have the governor's weekly COVID press briefing a little bit, uh, well, about half an hour ago, actually, but here we are. I'm still outside the Capitol. Today wasn't just an ordinary schedule change. Today, the governor was supposed to be addressing a possible increase to the state's threat level. We recall the five color meter threat level that the governor has been pushing at least for a few months now. North Dakota has been hanging out in the green or low risk area for quite some time. But there have been a number of counties that have seen their daily positive rates increasing by 30, 40, and in some counties, even 50 to 60% just in the past few weeks. So the governor said he was considering raising that threat level today. But because of the uh, a few federal officials visiting town, things had to be moved around. But what does raising the threat level really mean? Will it actually change things? Not necessarily. When it comes to the threat levels, it's really kind of more of a state doomsday clock where there aren't any specific thresholds that are put in place and even the guidelines that come with it. If we do go into that moderate yellow threat level, it kind of just offers different recommendations that the governor would offer. Many of the businesses have already been operating in the yellow and we will have met much, much more on what those guidelines would even look like possibly going into tomorrow. First News at 5 starts now. Governor Doug Burgum was expected to speak about the state's threat level today, but a change in the schedule has many around the state wondering what's going to happen next. Jacob Noterman is live from the Capitol with more on what's coming tomorrow. Jacob? Monica, in the face of many counties having uh, daily positive increases in the 30 to 40, even 50 percent, and regular record highs statewide for active case counts, last week Governor Burgum said that he was considering raising the state's COVID-19 threat level from the green low risk area up to the moderate yellow area. And with that, there could be some differences as far as the different kind of guidelines that the governor would be offering for businesses to operate under. Essentially, when the governor or when the state is operating in the yellow or moderate area for the COVID threat, things would be similar to how things opened up in May. Restaurants go to about 50% capacity. There would be a cap on about 250 people for large groups. However, large groups obviously are going to be requested to cancel any kind of event. But even then, all of these are merely guidelines and many businesses have already been operating as though they were in the yellow, having that increased hygienic cleaning, having that increased uh, security when it comes to seating capacity. Many businesses are already operating this way, but these guidelines are merely guidelines. So if the governor does decide to move us into that yellow moderate section, there wouldn't be any laws. We really wouldn't see a lot of differences in the day to day. It would merely be a change in tone, at least from the Capitol's perspective. With Governor Burgum moving his decision on increasing the state's threat level to tomorrow, it is giving the state time to prepare for a possible change in protocol. Jacob Noterman joins us from the Capitol with what the governor's options are and how they affect communities. Jacob. The governor has a few options going into tomorrow. One of them is a statewide mandate. Now, that is something that we saw way back in February, March and April, back when the original closures were first put in place. However, when things started to open up again and since then, Governor Burgum has regularly said that he wants to avoid those statewide decisions, trying to make things as local as possible, which is why last week he hinted at possibly bringing in a county by county approach. Instead, focusing on the hotspot counties, places like Grand Forks County, Burley and Warren County, Stark County, Williams County, and just having new guidelines and increasing the, the threat levels only for those specific areas. However, even when talking about that, we reached out to many, we reached out to some task force members for the various counties, and they said that when the governor said he was going to be reaching out to them, governor's office has not reached out to them, at least not since. So the governor could possibly go back to what he's been doing for other kinds of mandates in that he might leave it up to the counties themselves rather than a direct coming from the office of the governor, the counties deciding what threat level and what color they should be at. But even then, these new guidelines are merely recommendations and they won't force any businesses to follow them. Live from the Capitol, I'm Jacob Norderman reporting for your news leader.